During the start of the 20th century, believe it or not, a group of eclectic men decided to tackle America's meat crisis by introducing hippopotamus into the American diet. Learn how hippo steak almost became a common menu item today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things. In the early 1900s, meat was in high demand due to a growing population and overgrazed land. Bison had become nearly extinct, so there weren't any animals left to hunt. But a man by the name of Frederick Russell Burnham was convinced hippo meat was the solution. Burnham was an American adventurer, soldier, and chief of the scouts of the British Army during the Second Boer War. He moved to Africa in 1893 and was the inspiration behind the Boy Scouts and the big screen action hero, Indiana Jones. Burnham was a proponent of eating hippopotamus meat because animals such as cows, sheep, poultry, and pig were not native to the United States, yet they were a large part of the American diet. Also, African animals such as ostriches and camels had easily adapted to certain areas of the United States, and Burnham believed hippos could do so as well. Louisiana Congressman Robert Broussard also supported the importation of hippos because he thought the mammals could help solve a problem he had in his district. In 1884, a Japanese delegation gave water hyacinths to the city of New Orleans as a gift, but the plants were very invasive and killed many fish. Broussard, nicknamed Cousin Bob, hoped the hyacinth-loving hippopotamuses would take care of this issue. Plus, hippos could live in the bayou, unlike cattle, which needed grasslands to feed. Broussard enlisted the help of notorious con man and big game hunter Frederick Fritz Duquesne to set their plan in motion. He was also Burnham's enemy. Fritz was a soldier and a spy who did whatever was required of him to get ahead. At one point, he was ordered to kill Burnham, the then chief of the British Scouts during the Second Boer War. Simultaneously, Burnham was ordered to kill Fritz. Neither carried out their orders, and several years later, Broussard tapped on Fritz's knowledge of African animals to help him and Burnham seek authorization to import those hippos to America to boost that meat supply. Fancy that. Broussard introduced HR 23261, aka the Hippo Bill, in 1910 to secure a quarter of a million dollars in funding for the importation of useful animals, including hippos, into the United States. The New York Times coined the phrase Lake Cow Bacon, describing the flavor of hippo meat, and some believed it would be only a short time before it was readily available in America. What they may not have realized is that hippos have a reputation for being aggressive and territorial and probably wouldn't have settled in very nicely in those Louisiana bayous. The bill failed. To meet meat demand, meat packers increased supply, grazing lands became feedlots, and wetlands were drained to form grasslands for cattle. Following the defeat, the idea was completely written off. As for the team, Burnham went on to prevent an assassin from shooting President William Howard Taft and then struck it rich by discovering oil in California. Broussard served eight terms as a congressman and one as a senator, and as for Fritz, he ended up in prison for that whole spy thing. And me, I'm Sabrina Seek, and I'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange things.